Hey everyone, it's the up here. And today we are going to be getting into Builder's Workshop with this Hog Cycle deck. So I traded out the Goblin Barrel for the Fire Spirits because I felt like the Goblin Barrel could easily be countered by a Barbarian Barrel. So let's see. We have this deck and I tried out a P.E.K.K.A deck but it wasn't working very well. So let's just jump right into the gameplay. We should be getting Builder's Workshop, yeah. We just played a game right before this, so, yeah. So, let's start with an early hog on the left. On the right. He's a level above us, but I don't think it matters. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure what my opponent just did or why. Oh. Got elixir floating. Pop you back there. Just a small night push. Nothing too major. Okay. That's wow you. Let's fireball that. And let's go back to Hog Rider. So a lot of the times people like scar me at the bridge. Let's see. Okay. Two hits, two hits. Uh, back here. Skeletons. I notice you can use skeletons to distract their like knight and whatnot. As you can see, fire spirits just hard countering. Ah, oh, need to be one tile higher so I could get more damage off. One hit by the musket. I think over here we go left hog. So we almost have enough for one of these. So knight again. Same defense. Just gain some good damage on both towers, honestly. Bar barrel can tank. So he's gonna have to deal with this side. Let's throw a fire spirits back here. And let's hog over here. I don't think he has anything that can deal with this. Prediction arrows never work. Um, they do work sometimes, but a lot of the times they don't. Let's try to take this left tower. Let's throw a musket back there. Yeah, deal with the minions. No need to fireball. He's gonna preemptively arrows here. Good game, well played, and cock a doodly doo. One second, let me just check something. Yeah, all good. So it looks like we are above 1600, so we have made it to build a workshop. Our next goal will be this 1950, our first legendary. So I don't want to open it until my I'm in Royal, that way I have a chance of getting a Mega Knight. But I think like, if we get like a certain thing, like let's say we get a Magic Archer, um, ideally we'd get um, something that we can put into the cards we have right now. Here, let me do this Pekka deck while we're talking. Uh, so yeah. I think it's very important to make sure that you're, like, ideally we'd get a card, like a legendary, that would fit what kind of deck we can make. Well, let's throw in arrows, because it's just a nice card. So I believe we can go in with this deck. I'm trying to think of anything else we could add in. Mm. So. I personally now prefer Barbarrel over the 
arrows. I think it's a lot more effective. We may want to take out the witch for something else. Let's see. Uh, splash. Do we have heavy air? No. You know what? This is going to be our comp for now. We got the Skarmy, the Bar Barrel, Fireball. You know what these are for. I've talked about this a lot. Valkyrie for that Spin Jago, as we always say. We got Pekka. Pekka is our wing con. We got Musket. Witch for those Skellies and the Baby Dragon. Let's just go. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Road to Glory 3. Okay. So I think we just start with the Pekka in the back. We're not a bridge spam though. So the first thing we have to get is the witch. To support this Pekka. Okay. So after this, we're gonna pop a musket back here. Our pump doesn't seem to have a very good reaction to this. It's taking a lot of damage right now, as you can see. The P.E.K.K.A is taking its sweet time, but we already taken down the first tower. Our opponent plays their own P.E.K.K.A, but is getting distracted. We've cycled back to our second P.E.K.K.A, but our opponent cannot handle the push got skeletons everywhere and that is already game wow I was fast okay let's claim our reward legendary let's see what do we got here let me scroll down oh I only got nine epics okay and a bunch of money. So, do we want mortar? I think we take the skeleton tin barrel. Either way, they're both pretty good cards in general, I'd have to say. Let's just see what counters it. So, of course, it just going straight to the tower is insane. It's like having a mini Skarmy right on top of their tower. 115. But it's bad when. Yeah, Bar Barrel counters it. Zap counters it. Just really any damage spell, I think, would be the main thing if you're having trouble with this card. I assume you wouldn't. Let's see. 500 gold. Three gems. Okay. Two mortars. 32. 7 mega minions. Ooh! Upgraded bar barrel. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't have all my gems, I spent some of it to unlock a magic chest. So we got our barbarian barrel. Let's see what else. We can upgrade our mega minion. Let's also jump over here to the mortar. It's a pretty good card just because it feels heavy. What, can it not attack towers now? I thought it could. Apparently it can't. Okay. Well, let's just go over to our battle. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, I may have to check that out. I thought it could hit towers. Okay. Whatever. Well, let's start with the P.E.K.K.A in the back, as we always do. Okay, after that we go Witch. Okay. It's her opponent. We may just want to race him. Let's bar barrel. Just, just in case. They take down our tail. We get their tower. A witch there. Unfortunately, witch get countered by Valkyrie. We may do an annoying thing. Yeah. So we got our Valkyrie. 
Um, he has a higher upgrade dragon, unfortunately. So. Okay, let's pop you back here. We have Skarmy up to deal with this mini pack up, but I think we just need the bar barrel. It can survive. Oh! Oh! Value! By that bar. Pop. Pop. So we could start pushing left side, but I think we want to deal with you. This man's a pain. Now, ooh, Pekka behind this. Oh, their health on that tower. 200. Let's fireball cycle, boys. We're also gonna start up a nice big push over here. Hello. Goodbye. Our opponent. He is being desperate, but the baby dragon demolishes the minion horde, and that is it. Good game. Well played. And... Okay, 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 okay. So we are absolutely smashing people. We have this amazing deck. We have the hog deck. Let's... Let's try out our giant deck. Let's see if it works. It's hard to tell when some decks work. So I think the first time, I'm pretty sure I'm like close to undefeated. <laughs> I have like a couple times when I lost. Let's see, what does he do? <laughs> Pathing. What's that? What's this game? Never heard. Okay. Baby dragon is pretty poison. Okay. So our man over here got poison. I have the card too, but I don't use it very much. I could probably play it in, in this deck. Um, a slap? Okay, we're pushing left side. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start a nice giant push. Let's pop a witch behind that. So the witch is gonna deal with stuff. Oh. Pretty sure the witch is Ooh! Oh! Oh, baby dragon! Baby dragon tanking! Dealing massive damage up top. And that's the tower! Okay, so we can kite the Valkyrie over here. I think we battle ram back here. Sort of offensive. I don't want to put a giant at the bridge. See how he reacts to the left. Let it go. Okay. So, let's go here and here. Ho! Oh, that was close. He almost got that. Use this point. Poison at the wrong time. We're gonna go in here with the witch. Mega minion. Oh, I should have played it further back. And the baby dragon for this nice push. Oh, why does this always happen? Whenever I do that, no matter what, it always happens. So, this push kinda sucked. Our opponent's now pushing us on the left side. We gotta defend this, otherwise we lose. Okay. Baby dragon. Can she pull up? Baby dragon deals with the air and the bar barrel. Taking it home. Our opponent's got nothing. They are on fumes. They are trying to pull this game off. But they have nothing. And that is game.
GG. Well played. And we shall move on to the next match. Seventeen, fourteen. Let's see. Can we pull a legendary? Flying machine unlocked. Fire spirits. More skeleton barrels and four fireballs. A nice deck. A nice uh, addition to our currently pretty good cycle deck. So I think we're gonna go back to the cycle deck. Here, let's let's take a look at the flying machine stuff. So, uh, I I wouldn't consider that good, <laughs> considering the fact that it's royal hogs. The piggies, I think I had piggies, and the second I got them, I knew I had to play them. Um, so Mega Minion hard counters this, no doubt, two shotting it most of the time. Uh, we're gonna play one last game with the hog cycle deck, and that'll be it for the video. And in the next video, we will get the... Actually, you know what? We're gonna get up to the legendary. Uh, what? Oh, uh, okay. Fireball. Thanks. That's... Oh, I messed it up. Okay, no matter. Hog Rider on the left side. Oh, I forgot. We got two hits off. We might think good. Only two hits. That's true. And down goes his Hog Rider. One hit. A little bit of a late zap, in my opinion. If you're gonna zap, you need to zap when this stuff is on it. So let's cycle out the night. Bar barrel. Uh, let's pop the hog rider over. Oh! Oof. This hog. One hit off. Ugh. But I mean, we just got so much value with the. Mm. See, like. Technically, his trades have been better, right? He's been losing this elixir. Let's pull the Valkyrie with the skeletons. So it gets no. Oh. Oh. Second hit off. It's barbarian bear. Um, where should we push? Okay, upside. That baby dragon connecting kind of sucks. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good game by our opponent. Well played. I think we basically ignore the left side. Just go all in here on the right. This is not good. I didn't expect this deck very well. Oh, so close. Good game. Well played. I guess the the main thing was he just countered us. <laughs> like we just didn't have anything. Uh, let's go over to the back deck. Why not? I mean, I don't think we've lost with this deck, so it's all good. Okay. Go, go, go. Is that Okamo? I don't know what his name is. I don't question it. Uh, I think we. Okay. Let's bar barrel over there.
it's kind of a sucky situation the way he played it. Okay, so we got the Spinjago girl. I think she watched too much Ninjago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoo. I'm back. Shoo. It's weird. I don't question her. She's kind of weird. And the left side is getting real low for our opponent. 170. Yeah. <laughs> Should be sad. Let's see how much crap. Okay, 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 okay. So maybe we can save up 10 mana. 8, 9, okay. Ah, uh, he preemptively did it. Just so you know, if you ever preemptively do it, um, don't. <laughs> That's my one thing of advice, like, just don't. It works, but... I think a lot of people expect it. Uh, it's a spam. I can give up the left side. This push is gonna go all the way, I think. He doesn't seem to be defending it very well. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the tower. Even though the P.E.K.K.A.'s probably not gonna live. Oh, the P.E.K.K.A. lives. One shot. And now his left side tower is down. And I believe. Good game. <laughs> I'll play it. <laughs> he, he did a pretty good job, just. Yeah. It, our deck was just superior. I think I have to start sticking with these giant decks on this P.E.K.K.A. deck. If I can get an early P.E.K.K.A. out with like a, a witch, it can really work well. Okay. Well, let's start with a nice early P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, just like I said. Early P.E.K.K.A. into witch. That mitigates damage done by the prince. Over here, the P.E.K.K.A. one shots just about everything. <laughs> the only problem is that it kind of sucks against certain cards. Oh, 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 yeah, fireball. Mmm. Smack. Ho. Oh. Come on. Hit. Yes. And that's the tower. Already taking an early just with one P.E.K.K.A. push. I probably shouldn't have played the baby dragon there. Pop. 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 Okay, so we can probably pop the P.E.K.K.A. in the back right now. But I honestly want to play a little bit more defensive. Yeah. That's wow you. <laughs> I don't want to bridge spam with the P.E.K.K.A. I don't see much point. Pop. Let's pop you here. Right now. Perfect timing. And it looks like we can just... Yeah, Pekka spam. <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, look at that baby dragon in the back here. And it looks like this is just gonna be that. Yep. Already winning. Good game. Well played. And we have taken another opponent down. With just this absolutely amazing P.E.K.K.A. deck. Let's see. Okay. Two. 13 mortars, got it. 21 minions. Tombstones, and Expo. So there's, of course, Expo Cycle. Oh, we already have flying machines, so let's grab the rocket. Let's see, there's the Expo. We're gonna grab the balloon. So let's just check out the new card. How about we, first, let's grab the minions. 
Let's grab the tombstone. Oh, let's grab the mortar upgrades. Just cause we can. And let's grab your upgrades. And let's just look at both the cards. So, let's start with the expo. So this card can... I believe it attacks towers. It can hit towers. For some reason the AI didn't think of that. I don't know why this is a good scenario. Yeah, see it fires up at the tower. That's a good thing. Uh, let's, let's look at the rocket. It can get some value. It also kills Sparky. Can also kill Balloon. No. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, so the rocket's a uh, very high damage spell. You can use it with, like, Tornado. You can also do that with, like, Fireball. Stuff like that kind of synergizes. You put it all in a can and it works. I think we get to the next uh, thing and we're all set. Uh, I think we slow play the witch. It's tier 7, so we're going to have to play very cautiously. Goblin Hut coming out from our opponent here. We got a nice push coming on. Unfortunately, here, let's let's just bar barrel. And it looks like the barbarian is just gonna tank all the damage. And we are getting in for a ton. And that's already the tower down. Her opponent's still standing little to no chance for Sardex. We don't talk about the one time. Zero losses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we just P.E.K.K.A back here. So this also counters Giant, but I like to keep this Garmy around for other situations. Yeah, like Prince, he's a pain. Let's just, let's just do that right now. So, right now, I think instead of going, actually, yeah, let's go Witch. In the back here, Pekka tanking damage like an absolute beast. The thing about Pekka is it's such a good investment because a lot of people in the early leagues can't defend against the Pekka. Now a lot of the spells aren't going to be helpful until like later leagues, which I notice. Yeah, just kill all of it with the Valkyrie, who's also going to get the musket. It's like Valkyrie is like team carrying. So I think we pop this in the back, right side. Yeah, okay. Now that's double elixir, let's pop you. So, yeah, now, yep, <laughs> that's what I thought would happen. So, like, look at that knight. And we almost have enough for the second P.E.K.K.A. Holy dang. Second P.E.K.K.A. down. Our opponent is just hoping they can do something against this Valkyrie down. Baby dragon. One P.E.K.K.A. left, but it doesn't matter. We hit down the King Tower, and that is game. GG. Well played. And... <laughs> okay. Okay. So, when we hit this reward, I think we'll be done for the day. Let's get this one last one. Yeah, no one in these earlier leagues really has any sort of idea of like how to kite with Ice Golem. Also, there is no Ice Golem. Okay, it's just P.E.K.K.A. Very common push by opponents. Just to go Baby Dragon into, um, let's see, what is it? Baby Dragon Prince. It's a good push, but it doesn't really work <laughs> against, like, P.E.K.K.A. And the P.E.K.K.A. gets through, and our opponent rockets. Oof, that was a good rocket. 
I mean... I'll give him props. That was a good rocket. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, no. Okay, that that balloon is no more. We can ignore that. A little damage on the tower. Let's musk it here. A nice strong push. Our opponent may just want to rocket this, but no, he princes army of skeletons, and we take down the tower in no time. We're about to smack. Okay. Is that enough? No, okay. Okay, so let's Pekka in the back. Let's wait for a bit. You want to get the Valkyrie in front. Uh, let's get up to seven. That way we can easily... Oh! Own Pekka! Okay. And their P.E.K.K.A. goes down easily. Let's barb barrel here. We want the Barbarian to tank for the P.E.K.K.A. That's right. You heard me. Barbarian tanking for P.E.K.K.A. Is this like old news? Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna take some damage from this prince, unfortunately. Which kinda sucks. But I mean... We lost the tower. But this push is going to be insanity. He is not going to be able to do smack. Okay. So, he did kill our P.E.K.K.A. But look at this. He rockets. We P.E.K.K.A. up. Look at this army. He's got nothing. Giant skeleton. That's actually pretty good. But the musketeer locked on, absolutely smashing the tower, and fireball is almost enough to kill him right here. Which in the back? Let's go here. Okay, let's see. Can the barbarian get a hit off? And the barbarian barrel wins it. Absolute domination. Well, actually it wasn't, but I mean, shh. No one needs to know. And we are actually smashing. Oh. All the nice sound effects. 12,050 gold. And I think that's going to be all today. If you liked the video, please like it. It helps support the channel. If you did not know the channel existed, go tell a friend and subscribe, please. It is free and it helps support me so we can make better videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!